A Lilo and Stitch cake. That is what I am creating today. Hi everyone, my name is Moana. Welcome to the Kali. The Ko. Hi. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like or that heart. And let me know in the comments what animated character would you like to see me create next. Now let's get started. Now both of these cakes are going to be created using 8 inch round cakes. I'm using the same size for both characters so that, you know, the proportions are all basically the same. I was really eager to make a Lilo and Stitch cake because I love Lilo and Stitch. That's why I made the Lilo cake. If you haven't seen my Lilo doll cake, it's pretty awesome. There's not a lot of cake because you have to cut out a lot to place in this big doll. But I think if you're having a Lilo and Stitch themed party, you should make that cake instead of this Lilo. And, and you get a free doll afterwards? Wow. Hands down better cake. <laughs> but I wanted to make like a partner cake. I did this with SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick and those were two separate videos. But I thought it'd be better if I just took the two characters here and combined the video because I want to see them together. I don't want to see them apart. That was a mistake I made with Patrick and Spongebob. After I layered some buttercream on the inside of my cakes, I started to carve each of my characters. I didn't really do too much carving. I wanted these to be pretty flat. But I'm just rounding out the edges so that we don't have such harsh corners. Once I finished crumb coating my cakes, I started to add fondant to create Lilo. Now I added a small piece of fondant to create her nose underneath and I just accentuated that with my fondant tools. I tried to make sure that she had the same sort of ecstatic expression on her face as in the image I was using. Now Lilo really reminded me of what it was like to be a child and not fit in. But then you find that one person that just gets you. In elementary school, it was always like that. There was one person that I'd hang out with. And even though I didn't make sense with the rest of the crowd, we just understood each other. And then after elementary school, we went into high school and we never talked again. <laughs> but that sense of friendship between Lilo and Stitch, oh, I, I wish I had that still. I, I think I do. Does it count with your cats? Probably. I think it counts with your cats. Now after that, I added some fondant to a cake board to complete my Lilo look. Beautiful, isn't she? Now it's time to move on to Stitch. Now Lilo and Stitch is one of the movies that I don't really watch anymore, but I watch it. Does that make sense? <laughs> I've seen the movie so many times that it's kind of like Friends and The Office. When I hear the dialogue, I cannot already imagine what's going on in the scene and so I don't have to keep my eyes glued to the TV. And one of the things that I love about this movie is how recognizable Stitch's voice is. You know, as soon as I hear him say like, I don't know how to do impressions. Chris <laughs> Lala Krista or whatever he says when he's coming out of the truck. It's like I can imagine the time of night and it's just like perfect. Or when Lilo is like, are there any animals in here? When she goes to the pound to look for a dog. I can imagine what it looks like with the dogs just like up on the gates. You know what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about? How are we friends? The fact that I can see these characters with my eyes closed made it extremely hard for me to create these cakes because if they were off, even just by a little bit, I would not be happy. Ditch I wasn't that worried about, but it was when I was creating Lilo that I was really kind of worried. People are so much harder to create than animals. And just like that, my Stitch Cake was complete. He's so cute, huh? Would you guys want to see a cute and scary Stitch Cake? He's very two-sided. Now, after I finished my cakes, I originally decided to showcase them separately by adding pieces of fondant to a cake board to create more of their look. But I got more joy out of this cake when I put them together because they are sort of this inseparable duo. Now, I'm curious, did you like Lilo and Stitch as much as I did? And what are your thoughts on the live action movie coming out? Because they're doing it. I know that they're doing it. I think it's going to Disney Plus. I'm not sure. I just hope that whatever comes out of this, it doesn't ruin my childhood. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.